There is a critical update for the Turtle Classic ecosystem that could change the future potential of Turtle Classic. When you go ahead and look at Turtle Classic right now, you guys can see having a decent day. Obviously, we are down bad right now over the past little while, but Turtle Classic coming up 14% on the day. Market cap right now, just over $500 million. So obviously, when we zoom out, Turtle Classic's had a rough time. But we are starting to see recover. We bottomed out at about the 8.5 level, and we have since recovered, almost going up to about 9.5. So a nice little recovery for Tunnel Classic. Now, the critical update for the Tunnel Classic ecosystem is this proposal, no canonical repo for Terra Classic. Now, this might be confusing as to what this means, but essentially what this is trying to do is decentralize control over the Tunnel Classic code base. Right now, obviously, Tunnel Classic has a bunch of different factions within the Tunnel Classic community. And the problem right now is that one single faction has control, has access over the code base. If you essentially make no canonical report or no centralized control for the code base, then everyone gets equal access in theory to this code base. There's not a monopoly that can be put on this code base because in theory, if one team wanted to, and this has not happened yet to be clear, but if one team wanted to hold the code base hostage, they could do so. They have that possibility, and then it would require a lot of work on our part to revoke that access, to be able to override that control that they have. And so it is possible for us to get it back. They can't hold Terminal Classic hostage forever, but it would just make a massive pain for our Terminal Classic community. Now, the reason why I actually support this proposal is that this was a initially put up by Ed Kim on Agora. This was put up a little while ago, and this idea ended up getting dropped. It has not really been talked about since, but initially this was Ed Kim's idea. And if it's Ed Kim's idea, I think this has some good merits here, especially because we obviously have tension between these different factions. You can see that this is co-signed right now by Frag, Foluna, and Rex, TR Rex. So we're getting a couple different people from some different factions that are actually coming together to support this proposal. And so there's some unity going on within these different factions identifying that they need to come together to create this change. That way, no one faction can have control over another one. Right now, there's not a lot of people that have voted on this yet. We only have about 2% being voted. So make sure you guys go ahead and vote on this because I think it's just going to bring so much value to our Tuna Classic ecosystem. Again, it was initially pushed by by Ed Kim. There are some more technical details that are described here, but the general gist of things is that this is the code base for Tunnel Classic, and we want to make it decentralized. Now, there's something else that I think is worth talking about. Foluna ended up putting out this tweet, that PFC validator. If you're not aware of who PFC is, essentially PFC has done just so much for the Tunnel Classic ecosystem. They have been a backbone supporter for our ecosystem for such a long time. They have been a name that is known with a lot of people who are very involved in the Tunnel Classic ecosystem. Almost everybody knows about who PFC is, who's involved on a regular basis, who's actively building the Tunnel Classic ecosystem. All of those people know about PFC. PFC is going to have to be shutting down their validator unless they can get a lot of new delegations to help support their validator. They mentioned in a post that it's just not worth them running the validator cost because right now they're losing money. So they changed their validator name to try and make this as clear as possible. Basically, if they can get 10 billion delegations by the 1st of June, they'll be able to stay in the Tuna Classic ecosystem. And if not, then they're going to have to shut down the validator on the 30th. They're going to wait till the 30th. That way it gives people time to re-delegate out of their validator and people just don't get stuck being delegated to them when they shut down their validator and they're not earning rewards for a little while. So they're being considerate there. As I mentioned, this is a person who has been involved in the Tuna Classic ecosystem for so long. They've supported the Tuna Classic ecosystem. They are such a valuable member. I think this is worthwhile for us to try and support them and try and keep them around. So if you have some extra lunk that you have sitting around, maybe you have it staked with one of the big top validators like all nodes, please consider supporting this validator as well. Now, if you want to learn more about the potential for the Tuna Classic ecosystem, check out this video up here and I'll catch you on the next one.